Test driver Matas Kurat sets the stage to look at the Seat Leon by describing a years-long auto industry trend to equip normal road vehicles with higher set chassis and decorative elements that make them look like ATVs. He adds that there is a more subtle and less popular counter trend to equip normal road vehicles with all-wheel drive, meaning the car is likely to be safer, even though it's not necessarily able to go off-road. One example is the Seat Leon STFR that he's testing today. The Leon ST looks sporty, edgy, and extroverted. A roof line that slopes gently to the rear gives it a more dynamic look than another sporty station wagon, the Octavia, its counterpart from the other VW subsidiary. But the Leon ST still looks younger and peppier. Mata says that unlike Skoda's Octavia RS Sport version that comes in a petrol and diesel model, the Leon STFR has three different drivetrains featuring five levels of performance. Two are diesels, one a 2-liter 135 kilowatt TDI, and another 2-liter TDI with 110 kilowatts under the hood. In the ST's interior, the steering wheel and decorative red seams are to tell the driver the car is a sport model. But one with 587 liters of storage space. Our test driver questions the metal trim at the edge of the loading bay, which is a feature in many cars. He says it looks nice to begin with, but after you've loaded and unloaded the car a few times, it usually scuffed up and isn't so pretty anymore. He wonders if there's another way to make the cargo area attractive. Now it's time to hit the road in the FR. After all, people who buy sporty models want to drive. So how's the ST on the road? Mata says it's easier to drive, and of course, the all-wheel drive means it corners more steadily than the front-wheel drive Leon, where drivers have a tendency to understeer when taking corners quickly. We're testing the 110 kilowatt model, which can propel the car to 100 kilometers an hour in 8.7 seconds. In Germany, the STFR sells for 29,290 euros. Mileage is about 4.8 liters per 100 kilometers. Our test driver shows us it's a bit more than that, just over 6 liters as a rule. Sportier cars usually encourage drivers to go a bit heavier on the gas. So what does the interior of the top line model look like? Matas is critical of the materials used in the interior, especially on this door. He says the car's only got 3,700 kilometers on it, and there are water spots all over the plastic. That doors get rained on is nothing new, so the manufacturer should have picked a material that didn't show water stains. But he likes the shiny trim around the vents and infotainment system as well as the station wagon controls. It's attractive, but Mata says he'd like to see it in more places in the car because the rest, including the navigation system, is a little lackluster. One extra for the Leon costs 970 euros and is located in the roof. Matas loves it. He says the panoramic sunroof is very quiet and barely makes any noise when you open it, and you still feel as if you're sitting outside. It's a roomy station wagon with all-wheel drive and a sporty look, both inside and out. Buyers should expect it to be pricey. 
Mata says the FR version is the sportiest, of course, and the seats offer good lateral support, but it costs almost 30,000 euros, and that without extras. But in Germany, you can get it loaded with the works for no more than 6,000 additional euros. Mata's Curat sums up. He says he likes the Seat Leon STFR, even though the name's a mouthful. The all-wheel drive is his favorite feature, because you don't get that with an Octavia. It gives the car that added touch of driving stability, for moving at speed on curvy main roads, rather than the Autobahn. Matas adds that he's disappointed that the all-wheel drive model is only available in the 110 kilowatt model and not the more powerful 135 kilowatt option.